ओम शांति डिवाइन ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आई वेलकम यू दिस इज द टाइम वैन पीपल आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम मैनी निगेटिव थिंग्स माइंड्स ऑफ एवरी वन हैव बिकम वेरी वीक सेंसिटिव इमोशनल वाइसिस आर क्रिएटिंग इन न्यूमेरेबल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द वे ऑफ एवरी वन चैलेंजेज आर कमिंग डे बाय डे एंड मैनी फाइंड अनएबल टू देम सेल्फ टू फेस देम टू क्रॉस देम टू सोल्व देम सो वी नीड समथिंग यूनिक now you all we all will think deeply what has been missed by wise human beings education economical condition it sports and many other things are increasing day by day in the world but humanity honesty truthfulness purity humility going down day by day why just think deeply on this we have missed one thing we have achieved many thing in this world science and technology has provided us many things for our happiness for our pleasure for our joy for success for easiness of life but we can see everywhere tension fast life many disease psychiatric problems depression mutual clash no happiness in relations what is the reason of all these things reason is we have missed the spirituality we have forgotten who i am what are my powers what is my purity who am i and who is my supreme father now spirituality teaches us go inside yourself check yourself observe yourself and realize how much power are lying there inside recognize them activate them and use them then your life will become easy happy stress free and successful so we need spirituality today i am going to talk to in front of you about raj yoga so step by step i will take this important lesson and let we all practice simultaneously at the same time we will experience that so first of all we must know that we are souls living here residing here inside the brain between two eyebrows and soul is working through brain soul is controlling this body through this computer brain but soul we are souls soul has forgotten how to do what to do when to do so we have to recognize our own seven qualities first is soul is knowledgeful means i am knowledgeful i am always in the search of knowledge 
I need complete knowledge. I want to know everything about this entire world, all the three spaces, about everything about this wonderful creation of God. Secondly, me. I am a soul. Soul is loveful. Soul is peaceful. Soul is joyful, happy. Soul is absolutely pure. Soul is absolutely mindful. Soul is full of blessings, ecstatic feelings. These are seven qualities of soul. Means these are seven quality, qualities of myself. I am knowledgeful. I am loveful. We have to accept them. Think deeply. If you accept a thing, it becomes yours. It becomes your life. You become the embodiment of that quality. So just accept, I am peaceful, I am loveful, I am joyful. So let us practice it. Let, let, let us experience all the seven qualities of my own self. Keep in mind, we have to accept them and we have to be aware of them. So just visualize yourself here in between two eyebrows. Soul is the point of energy. I am the point of light.
I can maintain my happiness. No one can make me unhappy. I'm a soul. Very pure. Purity is also my original nature. Purity is my beauty. Purity is my personality. Purity is my reality. I'm pure. My thoughts are pure. My drasty vision is pure. I'm a subtle point of pure energy. Golden rage of purity are spreading out from me. My pure vibrations are charging the atmosphere around me. My purity is the food for this entire nature. My pure vibrations have got healing energy in them. I'm very pure, sitting in forehead, from me, golden vibrations of purity are spreading in my whole brain. My brain has become full of pure vibrations. These vibrations are healing my brain, making it perfect. These golden vibrations are spreading in whole body, making my body pure, sense organs pure. I am a soul, powerful soul, very energetic soul. I am the child of Almighty God. 
therefore i am most powerful from me powerful energy in the red color it is spreading out charging the atmosphere around me these powerful vibrations have created a powerful aura around me i am sitting inside this aura i am very powerful always fearless i'm powerful i'm fearless i've got full confidence in myself i can get everything that i want to get i'm a powerful person I'm blissful very happy soul most fortunate one so accept the all seven qualities meditate on them now let us think about our supreme father supreme god the supreme being people in this world have forgotten their father they have forgotten themselves that they are souls and father of all souls is supreme soul the supreme being the creator of this world the creator of paradise the purifier of everyone so that supreme father is also a subtle point of energy very subtle point invisible point but most 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 powerful almighty one he is my father he lives in soul world people in this world even could not imagine where is soul world we are souls we see we live our body which is called death soul is immortal imperishable body is perishable people feel that they are not this body they are soul but where souls came from no one could imagine to so souls abode is sweet silence so up above beyond the sky very far away from this world this earth there is subtle point of energy the supreme power he is my father supreme father of the souls he is not the father of bodies he is the father of souls he is the son of knowledge he gives knowledge he is the son of love 
he comes down he incarnates on this earth to give his pure love to the souls he is a son of purity he comes down to purify the nature to purify the souls be the supreme being o son of peace and happiness he is my father but we have no connection no relationship to him therefore we cannot experience his peace his love his might his purity raj yoga teaches us how to connect our mind and intellect to him and to gain its power to experience its peace to connect our relationship to him this is called raj yoga so two aspect of raj yoga i want to clarify to you one is he is my father he is also my supreme teacher he is also my supreme guru we have to accept this truth he belongs to me just think for a moment god is my father it means he is mine my father he belongs to me my father feel this closeness to him we are not far away from each other there is no distance between us and him he is my father i am a child we have this sweet relationship to him come close to him he is your father and mother not for name's sake for not for praying only but truly he is my father he is my mother he gives his sustenance to us he gives his love to us he take care of his children he love everyone very much so we not be god fearing but god loving he is my father very sweet father very caring father he who established heaven for us he who brought the gift of heaven for us he now is making this entire world into heaven he changing this world he is establishing a, a new era on this earth so we have to connect ourselves to him this is one thing so believe from now that god is not god only he is my father look towards him with such loveful attitude loveful emotions he is my father so everything that he has is for me his entire peace is for me His entire joy, happiness is for me. His all powers are for me. Feel it. We are rightful children of God. Second aspect of yoga. We have to create our link to Him, connection to Him. How? i give an example suppose now you are sitting in a room 
and you cannot see sun in the sky but from here you can visualize him easy so as soon as you connect to him you visualize him it means you are connected to him through energy it is called energetic contact to god to that person to that object we are talking about sun so we have energetic contact to the sun and what will happen energy of sun will come to us a flow of that energy started coming to me this is called contact energetic contact likewise we have to connect ourselves to the supreme being one who is very very subtle point of energy one who is almighty so visualize him up above beyond sun moon and sky visualize him a subtle point immense energy is spreading out everywhere in all directions you got connection to him and thus his energy will come down to you if he is all mighty his might will come to you you will become more mightful powerful if you remember him that he is the ocean of peace his vibrations of peace will come down to you if you remember him with this feeling he is my sweet father you will experience his love if you remember him is ocean of purity his pure fire so his pure vibrations will be experienced by you this is simple method of raj yoga so god's energy will come down to you you will become energetic your will power will increase your boldness will increase your free fearlessness will increase you will experience god has become your savior he is the canopy of protection over your head thus you will be connected to him so on this journey of life you will not remain alone but god will become your companion this is called raj yoga yoga means yoga is a hindi word sanskrit word it means connection between two so let us practice experience this raj yoga once again visualize yourself i am a soul here I am a peaceful soul. I am a pure soul. I am the master of this body. I am the child of God Almighty. So I'm very powerful soul. Now take your intellect. Intellect is third eye. Third eye of wisdom. 
through this third eye visualize supreme soul in soul world beyond sun moon and sky keep looking at him give this feeling to yourself god is my father i'm very close to him i have become his, his family member i'm in god
which powerful vibrations are making me feel less very strong and bold giving me lot of confidence they are making me master almighty these powerful rays are acting like fire they are burning my sins of past lives making me pure free from the burden of past sins i am becoming pure and free becoming pure and free from all bondage remain connected to the supreme you can talk to them you can give thanks hearty thanks to him you can send your love and regard to him you can bid namaste to him om shanti to him he is happy to us he is very pleased to his children he wants to make everyone happy healthy wealthy prosperous he is working now down on the earth so keep visualizing him and have thoughts for him o oh, supreme father you are the giver of happiness and bestower of you are the bestower of happiness and remover of sorrow you are my true father you have given me this happy life you have come down on this earth to give everything to your children you are established heaven on this earth for your children i love you i respect you this way you can talk to him you can give up your all burdens to him you can get blessings from him so this way create powerful and good thoughts in your mind and intellect is the power of wisdom fill it with divine wisdom intellect is our third eye visualize through this third eye to yourself and to your supreme father if you do this this is called raj yoga you will experience that you are coming close and closer to your supreme father you will experience his cooperation to you always you will feel he listen to you all the time he help you all the time your mind's power will increase a lot you will experience confidence everywhere in this world you will experience that success is coming to your feet at every step never failure you will collect boldness and dare to face all challenges of this world of this life 
this way raj yoga will become a blessing for your life raj yoga will make your life very happy very easy life you will enjoy life you will enjoy relationships you can enjoy or you will enjoy god's company you will feel that he is always with me and whenever i ask him to help me he will help you so thus be close to your supreme father enjoy your life with your supreme father he he has also come down to become teacher and guru enjoy all relationships to him and your life journey will become very easy so i hope you will enjoy you will practice this meditation every morning and every evening lastly i will say when you open your eyes in the morning when you get up just create very powerful thoughts in your mind it is called giving affirmations to mind or programming for the subconscious mind like this i am the child of god he is almighty therefore i am also very powerful He is the best tower of fortune. I am most fortunate soul in the world. I am most happy. I am very wealthy. I am very healthy. Success is my birthright. I enjoy my life. Keep creating such thoughts at least five times, and your mind will become charged, and these thoughts. will influence your entire life god bless you we bless you thank you very much om shanti